It's a great pleasure to come back to Radio Symphony Orchestra Berlin. Uh, it's my, I don't know, fifth or sixth time. Uh, this concert was planned in advance, uh, but with a very different program. Obviously now, in this difficult time, we have to adjust our programs. And uh, I know the orchestra had several weeks of not rehearsing, of celebrating Christmas. And as always, after that, there's a mixture of excitement from the musicians to be back together to play music and also a mixture of uncertainty in some way as they were not performing for several weeks. Uh, to me, it was great first rehearsal. Uh, we did a lot of hard work and uh, I hope that that will result in a great concert. Uh, Tchaikovsky's String Serenade is one of his most famous pieces of music and also one of the most honest pieces of music by him. Uh, it is virtuosic piece for the orchestra, for each musician individually and for orchestra together. They need to be able to play quite complicated and very dense material, but also being able to listen to each other. And obviously with social distance, uh, it requires even more skills. Uh, but to me, I always saw that Tchaikovsky was explaining his soul in many ways in this piece. It is Tchaikovsky which is uh, more European than Russian. It is Tchaikovsky though who still have the Russian soul. I'm actually glad that uh, this year one of the very few positive effects of the pandemic uh, that in 2020, I learned more chamber music than probably in all my life for chamber orchestra. And if pandemic will not happen, probably I will never do so. It is a great music. Uh, Shostakovich was in a very difficult period of his life. The second time the attacks from the government started on him. It is also the complicated story of Stalin Semitism and anti-Semitism. And in this fourth quartet, written at the time when most of Shostakovich pieces were banned from performances, uh, it does have this Jewish tragic, bittersweet feeling. Uh, one of the characteristics of the Jewish music is being able to celebrate with tragedy and being tragic in celebrations. So for Shostakovich, it's a really piece which he was trying to find mm, as his own soul explanation, something what he couldn't do publicly, something what he should keep silence, but to write it in the music. And his uh, influence on all the compositions in Soviet Union of that time, I think is unprecedented. Sadly, we can't invite a uh, public to listen us in the hall, as it is prohibited here in Berlin at the moment. But I would love to see you all. We can sense your presence on our live broadcast on Friday evening at 8 o'clock.